I want to read something to you. It is called The Reason Why People Serve God. Let me explain a bit about why people serve God. Think of a king, a king in a particular country. In many cases, a king has full authority over their country. Ultimately, the king makes rules for his people. If the people get caught disobeying his rules, what do you believe will happen? Usually, some type of punishment will follow. If the people continue to disobey the king, harsher punishments may come upon that particular person. Whether the people, whether the people love the king or not, it really doesn't matter. The king is sovereign. The king is in control. You have to follow the rules or pay the consequences. Let's talk about God. God is sovereign. God is the king of all. Whether people love him or not, it doesn't matter. You have to serve him. People have to serve God. If they don't, what will happen? Punishments will continue to come upon the people who choose to disobey God. It is just that simple. Even though we may not have seen God, we are still under his rules. The reasons why bad things happen to people. You may wonder, why do bad things happen to people? Have you heard about the story of Adam and Eve? I believe most people have. Ultimately, Adam and Eve did something they were not supposed to do. They disobeyed God. Disobedience to God comes with curses. So when Adam and Eve disobeyed God, every human born, they are cursed. The sin of Adam and Eve have cursed all of humanity. Their disobedience to God cursed us all. In truth, the one who is responsible is Satan. Satan deceived Adam and Eve. To disobey God, I believe if it was anyone else, Satan would have deceived them as well. So don't put too much blame on Adam and Eve for what they have done. I am sure that they get blamed for enough of the tragedies that happens on this earth. So every human born on this earth is cursed. This curse makes us do what is wrong more than what is right by God. What am I trying to say? It is much easier to do what is wrong than to do what is right. In many cases, it is difficult to do what is right because of the curse placed on us. You can say that there are more evil people on earth than good. That is correct. Why is this correct? All of us were born with a sinful nature. So why do many bad things happen to people on this earth? The curse of Adam and Eve. Many of the time, it is a struggle to do what is right. We were not born with a pure nature. We were born with a sinful nature. It is much easier for us to do what is wrong than to do the right thing. I pray that this makes sense. Think about the people who have done you wrong in life. Why did they do that? It is because of the curse. It goes all the way back to Adam and Eve. Now you, now you can understand 
why you have been so hurt in, in the past. People's sinful nature. This is something to really think about. Something to really think deeply about. Think about other people. If you have been hurt by people, you know that other people are getting hurt as well. So everyone is getting hurt and hurting other people. It is a very vicious cycle. What can we do to change this? As I stated in the paragraph above, because of Adam and Eve, we are born with a sinful nature. We don't have to stay under the curse. We can choose to follow the rules and regulations of the Bible. Follow God's word. What is that going to do for us? Following the rules and regulations of the Bible will heal us emotionally, physically, give us much more wisdom and knowledge, make us much more intelligent, and so much the more. What if everyone would follow the rules and regulations of the Bible? What would happen to this entire world? It will drastically change. There would be more good people in this world. Bad things that happens to people would not happen as much or at all. Everything would be perfect. Yet, many people don't want to serve God. They don't want to change. They just want to continue on obeying their sinful nature, which is very disappointing. Some people have this type of mindset. If people hurt me, I am going to hurt other people. This life is all about me and what I want. I don't care about anyone else. Imagine if everyone obtains that mindset. This world would become much more chaotic. Selfishness is the reason this world is so corrupt. If we all thought about what is good for us, how can there be peace on earth? Everyone would be backstabbing each other. This is the reason there are people teaching others to serve God. God loves everyone. He wants the best for everyone. If we surrender everything to God, obey God, that is the only time peace will come forth on this world. We all have gotten hurt by people. Why have we all been hurt by people? It is because of selfishness. That must end. What must we do to end this? We must teach other people the ways of God. If someone backstabs us, we must not backstab them. We must forgive our enemies and move on. We must forgive our enemies and move on. Holding bitterness, anger, hatred within ourselves, it's not good. When we go around holding that mess within ourselves, it is not only going to hurt us, but other people as well. This is what Satan wants, Satan and demons. They want you to hurt yourself and other people. Think about that. Satan is the one that tricked Adam and Eve. The whole human race is cursed, ultimately because of Satan's trickery. So when you choose to go against the rules and regulations of God, Satan is tricking you. I guarantee you, mostly everyone that is not serving God, they are not serving God, because they have been hurt by someone. So they get really selfish and begin to hurt other people. It is a foolish cycle. I pray that this makes sense to you, God. God wants the best for us. He doesn't want people to get hurt on earth. 
He doesn't want the chaos to continue on earth. He wants to help us all. He is giving all humans the freedom to choose. The freedom to choose to follow his rules or to do whatever they like. Yet, God gives us freedom to obey him. He punishes us if we choose to disobey him. So many people ask, why does God allow baby, babies to die? Why did God allow me to get molested or raped? Why does God allow people to die? Why did God allow me to get born in a bad family? Why does it seem like God hates me, which is not true? People ask these questions and more. What is the answer to these questions? It is not that God allowed these things to happen. He has given humans freedom of choice. When people choose to sin, disobey God, bad things are going to happen to them. God is going to punish them. He doesn't want to punish you, but he is the king. We have to follow his rules and regulations. We are not the God of our own lives. Does this make any sense? Why are we on this earth? God made us for his pleasure. We are created to praise and honor God every day of our lives. When Satan fooled Adam and Eve, getting them to disobey God, this world is cursed because of that. In the beginning, before Adam and Eve disobeyed God, they were not meant to die. Humans were not meant to die. Adam and Eve's disobedience to God cursed us. Now, we have no other choice but to die. I am sure you have heard of hell and heaven. As I stated before, we were not meant to die. Since this world is cursed, because of what Adam and Eve done, when we die, we are either going to heaven or hell. Hell was not meant for humans to go. Hell is only meant for Satan and his demons. Humans were not meant to go to hell. Since we have to die one day, day we are either going to hell or heaven. If you choose to disobey God's rules and regulations, you can't go to heaven. Since you separated yourself from God on earth, it is only right for you to be separated from God in the next realm as well. Hell We all know that hell is not a good place. As I stated before, Hell is only meant for Satan and his demons. Think about this. Why aren't we killed by Satan and his demons by now on earth? Have you thought about that before? We know that Satan and his demons hate us, correct? Why aren't we killed by them by now? What is that telling you? They don't have authority to kill us. At least not now. So imagine going to hell. When you go to hell, or if you go to hell, you are under the control of demons and Satan. They have control and power over you. If you go to hell, imagine the crazy things that they would do to you in hell. I am not sure if you enjoyed watching horror movies or not. I believe we all have seen horror movies before. I dislike horror movies, by the way. Imagine the worst tortures that a person can do to someone. Hell is worse than that. Imagine someone ripping your teeth out of your mouth. 
Imagine someone stabbing you and not being able to die. Imagine being burnt alive and not being able to die. Why can't you die? You are already dead. Your body died on earth and your spirit won't die. Your spirit is eternal. It has no end date. It does not die. So imagine going through so much pain, not being able to pass out, not being able to die. Imagine the torment. It is beyond our comprehension. Some people believe that this earth is hell. If that is true, if a person continues to disobey God, they will end up in a place worse than this earthly hell. You don't want to go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. No one truly wants to go to hell. People may say that they don't care about going to hell. They are speaking foolishly. They are ignorant towards the things of hell. No one wants to go to hell. If you can't handle a person torturing you on earth, how can you handle it in hell? Think about that. What should you do? What you should do now? Repent of your sins now while you are still while you still are able. We don't know when we are going to die. I don't know when I am going to die. Repent of your sins. If it is possible, name each individual sin that you have committed. For instance, number one, God, please forgive me for cursing John out. Number two, God, please forgive me for telling that lie to Mr. Mr. Rogers. Number three, God, please forgive me for stealing some cornflakes from the store. Number four, God, please forgive me for hurting Amy's feelings. Do you understand what I am trying to say now? I am using random names for examples. Of course, you may not remember all the bad things you have done. So ask God to forgive you for everything. For all the sins that you have committed, try to name each individual sin. That is the best thing to do. Hell is not a game. It is not a fun place. Conclusion. I try to make this as simple as possible in a easy way. These are some of the reasons why people serve God. We have to obey him whether we want to or not. It is not up to us. We have to do it. If you don't serve God, your life will stay bad. This is the truth. You have to separate yourself from things that are leading you to disobey God. When it comes down to movies, television shows, music, and other people, make sure you stay away from anything that is very sinful. If anything is pushing you to disobey God, it is best to stay away from it or that person. Some people may think if you stay away from the sinful things, you are going to have a boring life. <laughs> It is not about having a boring life. It is about not going to hell and going to heaven. Yes, you may have a boring life on earth, but it is much more amusing to get to heaven. Heaven is much more fun than this cursed world by far. It is worth sacrificing your life on this earth to have a greater life in heaven. I don't know why people believe that you have to do bad things to have fun. It makes absolutely no sense. 
Having sinful fun is not fun. It is actually cursing you. I pray that everything I have written makes sense. God bless you. So this concludes the document, The Reason Why People Serve God. God bless you.